Do you think it's possible for an individual on this earth to consume 60,000 calories in 60 hours? 60,000 calories of vegetables. Yeah. I stopped at 20, sorry dude. Just like Furious Pete did with the beef jerky challenge, you should add that into the 60 calorie, 60,000 calorie challenge. 60 calorie challenge? Hell yeah. With the kinds of foods that are out there, I, yeah. So when I said I'd never come here again, I lied. Always delicious. <sighs> Don't ever see me up this early. It's time to go give blood to the vampires again. All done. I didn't get a lollipop though. Moments later. Shout out to my boy Brian Turner and the vegan kingdom. New shirt. It's about to be one hell of a week. Let me just say that. Find out later if that was a PR. Moments later. For you. Do you think it's possible for an individual on this earth to consume 60,000 calories in 60 hours? With the kinds of foods that are out there, yeah, I think you could do. Yeah, with what you've done already. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of the shit you've done. It ain't, I don't think it's that kind of reach for you. Let me do the entire value menu, please. Yes. Pro tip guys, get all your shopping done on Memorial Day so you don't have to worry about it later, especially when it's 60,000 calories worth of food. So when I said I'd never come here again, I lied. Cereal milk. This is new and exciting. And that was somewhat quick and painless, somewhat. Sad part is, I'm not even like 25% done yet. I am very proud to say that I combined top ramen and oven fried fish tonight. Amazing. Moments later. Because you guys are gonna be in the next video, we're gonna be doing a little Q&A. Eric, can you take me to my prom? Yes. Why do you eat a lot of calories? Because calories are delicious. Cereal or waffles? Oh, cereal. Bean challenge. People, like, these are the things that I just, just don't even bother. I'm not gonna do a bean challenge. Like, I picture a person out there that literally sits down every night with like three cans of beans and just fucking just max down on beans and just goes online and they're like, fuck man. What if somebody will do a five pound bean challenge? A keto challenge, winky face. The next day. Alrighty guys, so what I went ahead and did, I asked everybody on Snapchat, what do you guys want to see me eat during this gigantic festive food. And it's just always so amusing to me because I get just so many odd requests for food challenges. 100,000 calories of pickles, 60,000 calories of water. I've even had people tell me to eat boxes of tissues. Let's see what we got here. 60,000 calories of vegetables. Yeah, I stopped at 20. Sorry, dude. British cereal challenge. He wants to see chocolate croissants in the 60,000 calorie challenge. I think he may know that chocolate croissants are one of my favorites. I might just have to do that. Lava cake. The big smokes order food challenge. 
Interesting. Brian Shaw's diet challenge. I am getting back into lifting again. Dude, you gotta do a bread bowl pasta or a whole bunch of potato chips for the challenge. Possibly. Just like Furious Pete did with the beef jerky challenge, you should add that into the 60 calorie, 60,000 calorie challenge. A 60 calorie challenge? Hell yeah. Oh, I wish. <laughs> That's definitely not a question. Whole birthday cake loaded with mac and cheese. Cereal bars. Thai food, that's another favorite of mine. Cinnabons, ooh, yes, we're definitely gonna be having Cinnabon. You should get the Beyond Burger, it's vegan. Can't guarantee that's gonna happen. And our last one that just came in. Hey Eric, uh, I just finished training and I'm craving like a Nutella milkshake so badly, so I'd love to see like anything Nutella, like monster milkshake in your challenge, that'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and respond back. Well, Sierra, you're in the next video, dude. I just. You may have to do a Nutella challenge, you know? Thanks for all the support, bro. <sighs> this is gonna be insane. Let's kill it. Alrighty guys, so I just got back from the store. I swear I've spent like a million dollars in food over the past few days, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. That's just the way these challenges go. I'm gonna live stream for the second night in a row here in a few minutes, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store. So like I said, I got some everyday stuff, so I had to go to Target and get some laundry detergent and some ranch, and then I had to get a big one of these for a creation that I'll be making during the challenge. Now, I did get some stuff again at the grocery store, so you guys know frozen strawberries, and I'm making a gigantic English muffin style thingy. Uh, not gonna spoil too much, but yeah, I had to get some flour. Um, then chicken breast. Now I got some this Tyson grilled and ready chicken breast, which looked good. Uh, too lazy to buy the fresh one tonight. Cilantro right there. And then these go on closeout. These will be had during the challenge for sure. Uh, cinnamon roll, yes, delicious. And then I've been living on lettuce and cabbage the past few days, so I got some of that. Cashew milk, you guys know how I do it. And I had to get some snap peas and mushrooms, the usual stuff right there. And then rice cakes, of course. And then yogurt too. Apparently this isn't yogurt according to a few people, uh, but to me it is. So I'm gonna keep calling it yogurt. Oats ran out. These usually last me about two to three days around that. Uh, and then some mussels right there. I'm gonna be making like a little stir fry tonight and then just the rest of the yogurt And then I also had to get a new SD card because we are going to ha be having a lot of footage During this little challenge. So this is actually my favorite Starbucks coffee to get so I decided to get some of that and then Frozen veggies are my favorite to get from Target for whatever reason I don't know why I just really like the way they taste and I don't know you guys work at Target out there. I worked at Target back in the day, but I do not know why they taste better. Let me know down below. Nestle Toll House Cocoa. Go through that like crazy. It's a very frequent thing. Guys, this is new. I just, curiosity got me here. Zucchini lentil pasta. Now, I've seen these in my normal grocery store from Bird's Eye, and they're usually like five bucks, and I am not gonna pay five dollars for this thing. But they were like 250, I think, at Target, so. Um, it's, I don't know, it's supposed to be like mock pasta, but the macros on it are pretty decent, I guess. So, uh, I will be trying that out very soon. Egg whites, those are pretty cheap. And then some syrup over there at the Target. And then when I went to the grocery store, I had to get some rice cakes. And then I'm going to be doing uh, tilapia tonight. And then probably that cabbage salad. Side NW, you guys know how I do it. And the first time for me getting kefir, strawberry though. So I'm interested to see how that try or see how that tastes, I should say. Uh, sesame ginger right there. Dressing I haven't gotten in a while. That goes really great with the salad. That's the cabbage. And then some dates, oats, like a little granola mix. And then some strawberries right there. And then last but not least, I had to get some more pita bread. Well, I gotta say, they actually didn't come out too bad. Hopefully they'll taste just as good. Yeah! Well, oh, hey. Another tasty way to get some protein in, right? Top ramen, cabbage salad, 
and I'm giving House of Cards a second chance. Seriously though guys, if you haven't given this recipe a shot yet, you definitely have to try it. As I watch my boy Travis S right now, I figured I would try out some of this lentil zucchini pasta or whatever it is, but it looks interesting. Let's try it out. Can't do it. Sorry, Green Giant. Thumbs down. The next day. All right, everybody, so in my last video, I found some old footage. All right, guys, so it's Tuesday night, and just because it is election night, I figured I'd pull up my camera. But I stumbled across my first camera that I ever started vlogging with from like four years ago. What is going on, everybody? Eric the Electric, coming to you guys back. All right, go ahead. I'm cringing hard right now. What's going on, everybody? Eric the Electric, coming to you guys again with another video. Today's the big cheat day. I was gonna go to McDonald's and get a giant breakfast, but they don't serve breakfast right now. So the first ever calorie challenge I ever did. This is where it all began. I'm uh, still doing my um, cheat day, or 10,000 calorie challenge, and you can say that I actually have surpassed the goal um, already today. So I actually just finished up fourth meal, and I'm at 11,000. 77 calories. Oh my god, I wish I still had Costco membership. Actually still really, really hungry. Um, that was about 2,100 calories. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I guess you could say I'm not really gonna be doing a full day. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric. Um, guys, I've done the electric before. You guys can see it. Shout out to 480p right now. <laughs> the aftermath. About 7.30 in the morning. Uh, surprisingly doing pretty good. I uh, only gained about 13 pounds, <laughs> which is uh, not, well 13 pounds are pretty much like water and glycogen and stuff like that, but it was fun. Definitely look to do it again. And who would have thought that it would be what it is today? <laughs> So basically, the days leading up to something like this, everybody, I get a lot of questions about how I structure my training, what my eating looks like. What I really do with my eating is I bump up my actual volume of food to expand my capacity to get a little bit more in. I pretty much live on oatmeal, cabbage, and fruit. A lot of people, again, will go into fasting and starving themselves before something like this, and it's just, just don't, don't do that at all. So when it comes down to big challenges like this with my training, what I've done differently for the past two challenges is actually I take about two to three rest days from the bike completely, just because I do ride quite a lot during the actual challenge itself. So I just want to be fresh and ready to go right when I want to do the challenge and everything. So yeah, I am on day two of no bike and uh, just do some light resistance training for today, tomorrow. And then uh, on actual challenge day, I get back into lifting heavy and riding heavy. And that's pretty much the way things look. More shopping, more shopping. Shout out to Dragon Force. Shit, I used to listen to back in high school. <sighs> well, I'm gonna be in a lot of pain after this. Second live stream. Say what's up. Yeah, these uh, got a little burned. I really do need to get better with my timing and live streams, but. <sighs> oh well. That lighting though. Adobe Gains. <sighs> South Park vegetables, well, slightly charred vegetables. I guess they're not that badly burned, right? Not bad. Well, everybody, I tried to make the Cheerios last until the challenge, but it didn't really work out that way. I mean, I did give it a solid effort, but it just wouldn't be able to last until the challenge. They're Cheerios, guys. Honey Nut Cheerios and they're delicious. Alrighty everybody, so I wanted to make a formal outro to this video and let you guys know that it is about time for all this to happen. I wanted to get a video up for you guys before the challenge and everything to let you guys know. If I haven't said it enough already, follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, because you guys on there get the first, I guess, 
inside look as to what's going to happen throughout the challenge and everything. So again, go follow me there. And I know I've been saying it a lot lately, but I also have a Patreon page, which actually helps fund things like this. Guys, it really takes a lot of not just editing and filming, but believe it or not, the food isn't free. I wish it was. So if you guys head over to my Patreon page, you are able to support the channel. And whether it's $2 or $2,000, it means everything to me. So again, guys, go check out my Patreon page if you haven't seen it already. Uh, well, it has been a, about a year since I did my last gigantic food fest. This is the 50,000 calorie challenge. Let's get started. So that being said, I'm ready to try to, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is just gonna be nuts. Stay tuned, everybody. Later. Hi.